What's up guys, welcome back to Creation of the Week. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, I've been kind of busy these last few weeks. But today I will be showing you my Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass map. So let us get started. This is a recreation of Murkay Island from the game. And uh, it took almost six months to build with breaks in between and it's still not finished so it's a pretty big project. But for right now, I will show you around. So where I just spawned in is the beach that you start at in the game. And then you head over here, and you go to the old man's house. And you do some training and things there. Then there's like a little side quest here at this neighboring house. And then you go to this cave right next door to the old man's house and you get your sword and then after that you come back here to this cave which I'm going to show later but for right now um, the reason you can go through that cave is because the bridge here between the two parts of the island is broken so you have to go through that cave which leads out to right here and so I will show you the village now this is the item potion shop this is the milk bar over here is just a citizen's house and then over here is the treasure shop and the uh, ship part shop and then here is the shipyard where you can put those parts onto your ship which is right here so now from here we will go back to this place behind the village and uh, this is just like a way to get to the ocean temple it's just trees and grass and all that but then um, once you get back here this is the ocean temple and uh, this is not finished at all I'm going to be making all the different floors uh, but I have not started on yet that yet so here's the top floor so far. Um, then let's see. There's also a K system right here, which I have not put in yet, and then I'll lead out over here. Then I guess I'll show you the K system now. So this K connects all the way over there, like I showed you before, but it is not actually underneath the L and I had to use command blocks for that so what you do here is you take the key out of this chest put in these hoppers and it will open the door here and then I just screwed this up a little bit earlier and what you do is there are uh, signs over there that tell you the combination for the door and um, once you have that combination uh, the doors will unlock and then here is the same thing as the first room where you have to get a key um, in the games from like a rat or a mouse you get the key and then you put it in the hopper but I need to figure that out still and then after that you just walk through the rest of the cave and then you get teleported back out onto the other side here so that's pretty much all there is to the map but then I put in some pixel art just because I was bored at some point uh, these are not in the actual game but this is from the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask uh, there's a Hylian shield over here which is in almost every game and then over here is a larger one from uh, I think it's Oracle of Seasons and I think that's pretty much it. Now I was going, um, I'm planning on turning this into like an adventure map using command blocks and all that. And as you can see, that I've started over here with the points. Um, but that that's pretty much all I have so far. I have some dialogue put in, but no, I think that's really it. So uh, I think that's it for this creation of the week. 
Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions for what I should build, put it in the comments below. I will see you guys later.